Hello everybody, here we are celebrating Vlogmas in July. I'm going to be filming today until the 17th, a video every single day. And it is as much for you as it is for me. I have picked up the camera several times. I have filmed multiple videos. They have all gotten deleted or not edited simply because I haven't been feeling like it. There have been other priorities. We'll chat, we'll catch up later. But I feel like I'm ready to dive back into this. I have missed it. I have missed the creative side of editing. I have missed mostly my connection with all of you and all of those things. So we're going to dive in and vlog every day and really use this as an opportunity for me to get used to filming again and kind of get me out of that funk. So here we go. Steven and Bubba's are for a walk and I am kind of puttering around the house making plans for the week. Yesterday, I spent the entire day deep cleaning the hole downstairs. So you could look how shiny my cabinets are. I washed them all down and all of the things, took everything off the countertops, did my backsplash. Look how shiny my stove and hood are. Ugh, everything is just like so clean and ready to go. One thing I have to tell you all, this is, look how shiny my sink is even. This is my favorite, favorite thing. So, I, I will leave everything that I can in this video that I think you'll ask about linked, but this is truly one of my favorite things. It also has a corner bristle, but I'm soaking it because it's really dirty. And you have speeds. And I love it with any cleaner. That's, this is what I used on my sink, on my stove, like all the places. On your stove and like stainless steel, you don't wanna use something too abrasive. On my sink, I actually do. And my favorite stuff to use is the pink stuff. I use this all the time. But this little contraption, one of the best things I bought, it's great for like around the toilet, your tub, all the areas. So. Highly recommend. But I used that and did all my backsplash with it. I did, let me turn on that light so you can see. Um, there we go. So I did my backsplash. I did all like my corners right here. Like look how nice and white my grout is. I did all of that with it. I did my stove. I did my hood with it. I did everything. And then I, on my cabinets, just use white vinegar and water and I cleaned all of them. They are so nice and sparkly now. Did all of those, did all the hardware. So the kitchen is really, really nice and clean and ready to go. In these vlogs throughout the week, I'm going to do some cooking and all of the things that we love the most, but also update you on like a lot of little things around the house I've changed and all of those things that we all love because you are my people. Also, just so you know, from a design perspective, I do not love this rug here, so you do not need to comment on it. Um, it's the only rug I could find that I even remotely liked, but Bubba's, as he's getting older, when he comes down the stairs, like the hardwoods are really hard on him. Some of his muscles are not as toned and his legs slide out on him. So this is strictly here for Bubby. And it's the best one I could find to were, use as a runway for him to help him up and down the stairs. So this won't always be here, but we will have it for him as long as he needs it. Oh, I don't even know if you have seen I painted my living room. I don't know if you guys have seen this. I don't know the last time I filmed, but we got the Samsung frame TV with the wood frame around it. It's really pretty. I also was cleaning a candle. I have soot on me. And then this is Urbane Bronze by Sherwin-Williams. It is one of my favorite paints. I wanted this space to feel like a little moodier because everything else is pretty light and bright. So I love, like you can see the contrast, just feels really good when you're sitting in here. So I don't know if I've shared that with you. I don't know. All right, Steven and Bubba's are out doing their thing. 
I was just doing some meal prep for the week. I actually ordered all my groceries because I don't feel like going out today. I'm using this cookbook, one of my favorites, What's Gabby Cooking? And this week, we are making the white wine chili flake pasta. And then another night we're doing corn and poblano, um, like a salad thing. I love these little paper flags because they're not like abrasive and they match my cookbook. They're from cloth and paper. And then the rest of my meal plan, because you are my people and I know this is important to you, as it is me, uh, is in my planner. I actually have this planner not starting until July 25th because you could select the dates. Here is my opening page. <laughs> um, but you can customize everything from Golden Coil. I haven't filled out much of it. Each month you can choose like a five week uh, meal plan. So I have that in here. So we're making a white bean soup tonight. I'll share that with you when we make it. <gasps> it's your first camera appearance in so long. Welcome home. Hold on, let me drink. Everyone has missed you. Say hello. Hello. Goodbye. You have to say hello. Hi. It's been a long time. Well, yeah. Your hair matches Bubby's hair. Not, it's not, Bubba's isn't as great as I am, which is ridiculous. <laughs> so today we're making a white bean soup and then the chili flake pasta tomorrow, the corn salad, so I've like kind of like planned everything out. I really like how simple and clean this is, but you get to customize it however you want to. So really, really an enjoyable planner. Check out Golden Coil. You might really like them. <gasps> Everyone has missed you so much. I was telling them about the rug. Oh, for his uh, his old joints. His old joints and legs. Well, you know. The good news is, is that, well, the good news is he's still mobile. We walked a mile today in the park. Good boy. Now he's gonna collapse and sleep until tomorrow, so. Look here, hey. We need to stop the hey, break. Hey, give them a look. Look at them, say hello. Hello. What do you want? Do you want some? You think she'll food there? It's a planner. Oh, he must approve. I love Golden Coil planners. We are going to have some lunch and then we will catch up in all of those things. I need to clean my finger off from all the soot from the candle, but I will see you shortly. I just finished an upper body workout. I wanna show it to you because it's on YouTube so you can totally do it too. Um, hold on, let me turn you around. So it is Grow With Anna. So it's a bunch of different workouts. I love them, they're super fast paced. I will let you know, I don't love the music. She's definitely doing it because of being flagged and all of that. So I usually put on my own music when I do the workouts, but they're all about 30 minutes. I just did upper body, but really, really love it. Grow with Anna, here you go. Really great, highly recommend just wrapped up my workouts. So I did the weights and then a low impact ride, drinking some water. This are, these are my new favorite cups. I've seen them everywhere. It's the Stanley cup, love it. I find that I do much better drinking my water um, if I have a straw. So love a cup with a straw. While I was working out, our laundry detergent was delivered. This is by far, our favorite laundry detergent. When Steven starts mentioning the laundry detergent and how much he likes it, you know it's good. This is from The Laundress Company in New York. I've been using now probably since, I wanna say January. I've only been using Laundress uh, stain removers and treatments and only Laundress materials in the laundry room and I love them, the packaging alone. Let's talk dirty laundry. I'm gonna get this put away, I'm gonna get myself cleaned up, 
and then we're gonna catch up a little bit. Part of my face is a little red because I just exfoliated, but things have been going well. I think I needed a little bit of time. I've never put a ton of pressure on myself to like maintain an upload schedule and all of those things. I remained relatively active over on Instagram. It's a place where I love and I find it easiest to connect with all of you, but really just needed to take some time. Work was crazy. Steven and I were like two ships passing in the night for like a solid amount of time and I needed to prioritize the time we had together. We dealt with some family things um, and it's just been one of those seasons. I think when those times hit you, the most important thing is always to remember yourself. I recently just got a promotion at work, which was really exciting. Steven has been super busy and has a couple things on his plate for work, which he's really been enjoying. We had some family things that needed our attention, um, particularly Steven's, and we had to prioritize the time we did have um, for it to be us together, but things have been pretty, um, pretty good in all honesty. I know a lot of you are worried, but we navigated a lot this past couple months, and I mean, life is still really good. I am excited about what this next week will bring. I think filming every day will help get me back into the habit of doing so. I think one thing that's kind of held me back has not only been my schedule, has also been just how I have felt about myself recently. Um, I have not made the like healthiest of choices. I definitely prioritized work over my own well-being and health and healthy habits and started going with what was quick and easy which never pays off so I think I've been spending the last month or two getting back into the habit of taking care of myself making good meals I really do enjoy working out food has always been my downfall since childhood and I think when you're not feeling good about yourself it's really hard to like film yourself and then look back at it and edit it so i think that's one of the things that has held me back in being so present for youtube was just how i have been feeling about myself but i'm really taking the steps to make myself feel better and get healthy and i am kind of really recommitting to getting myself in the best shape in this 40th year and really really make the most of it and i want to end my 40th year in really good shape and in a place where I feel really good about myself and I just haven't been feeling that way and I know so many of you battle with the same thing as many many of us do but when you have to put yourself on camera and you're not feeling your best it's really it's really hard and challenging I filmed countless videos then when I would go back and edit them I would end up deleting them so this was this week is kind of me taking a brave step into doing that again and um, is kind of like a radical act of self-acceptance for me because I'm not where I want to be but I'm feeling better than I was a month or two ago. So yeah, things have been good. I've been reading a lot and listening to lots of great music. One video this week, I haven't decided which day, I'm going to do a favorites video, an old school favorites video, things that I've really been enjoying, music, books, things around the house, all of those things, as well as take you through little things here and there as we go, but there's no big grandiose plan of vlogs we're going to keep it simple and i think that's what i need to get myself back into the groove of things and i really want to end this last half of the year focusing on growing the channel building community and being like more consistent with uploading but also putting my no pressure on myself whatsoever so yeah steven ran out because we needed a couple things i am going to share i've was gifted a bottle of wine that is reasonably priced and it is so, so good. And Steven went out to grab some of that for dinner and then I'm gonna start prepping the soup pretty soon. And we're gonna wrap up this first day of Vlogmas in July. Someone is ready for dinner. Do you want dinner? Do you want dinner? That's exactly what you, 
The older he gets, the earlier and earlier he wants to eat. <gasps> Daddy already has your dinner made. We have been using Farmer's Dog for quite some time and it's been really helpful for Bubby. He used to be a picker and now he eats all at once. We do chicken, beef, and turkey. One weird thing about Bubba's though, is he will not eat with his collar on. He will literally stand there and look at it, so you must take off his collar so that he eats. Bon appetit. Now I am getting dinner ready and we are having a soup. <gasps> he comes bearing gifts. Yes. Wine. This is my new favorite wine. We have some Orzo, which I forgot. Oh, you got two boxes, so we have it. So my new favorite wine is Miomi. Pinot Noir and their cab is very good. Oh, two bottles. It's so good. All right. I am going to get this started. We'll use this. Also need to grab the shallots. A lot of you have asked recently how the pantry is holding up. I mean, look at it. It's still so stunning. We love it. It works really well for us. I'm able to get groceries put away so quickly. And these baskets are a dream. We'll do a big shallot. These baskets are also really nice. <laughs> also, we need to eat lots of tomatoes this week, so keep reminding me. All right, I am going to start off this soup like you would start off any soup. I'm going to get some carrots, some celery, and some shallot going in the pot, and then. All right, friends, like all soups, I'm starting with carrots and celery and shallot. I, of course, used my favorite chopper. I think I've recommended this since like my first videos, and it's still the same chopper. I've had this for now probably 15, 16 years. I have those going with just a little bit of olive oil, not too much, and let these sweat out on like a medium low heat until they start to get a little tender. Also, these are my new favorite spatulas. I'll leave these linked because you need them. And it comes with like a whole set. It's all I've been using, but the length of them is so perfect. All right. I'm gonna throw in some salt and some pepper from the back, and then <gasps> I've already given you all the ends of carrots. There's nothing left. And then I'm going to drain my cannellini beans and rinse them, and also clean some of the stems off this kale. All right, so these are getting pretty tender. They've been going for about eight to 10 minutes. I'm adding my white beans and then I'm going to only add about half of this box of orzo. Just kind of eyeball it. Mm. Yeah, we'll add about half of it. And then to that, I'm going to add two boxes of vegetable stock. Oh, I love that color. All right. Bring it to a boil, then to a simmer. Then I have some kale over here I'm going to add. I don't know if I'll add all of it. If not, I'll just throw it back in the fridge. Um, I picked out all the bigger stems. This will shrink down a lot though. I'll add that at the end, a little lemon juice, and we'll call it a meal. Just turned off the soup, so it is all like thickened up. The kale is tender and cooked. It almost has like a stew consistency. So like it satisfies that like, mm, like thick hearty soup. I'm going to hit it with a juice of one lemon. Pretty much any vegetable or chicken based soup, I add lots of lemon just cause I really love it. I think it adds such freshness to everything. Going to serve it with some crusty bread and bon appetit. 
the soup was a 10 out of 10. It was so good, so filling. So definitely try that recipe. You'll really, really enjoy it. And it's so simple and it comes together so quickly. And Steven and I are both going to use it for lunches at least for the next two or three days. So, all right, I'm gonna wrap up day one's Vlogmas in July video. This was a nice one to ease into it. Not too much, not too little but a really good start to kind of pull off the band-aid to filming again. As always, I will leave you like I always do. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye.